Hello, hello, everybody out there. We're we're just about to start, so we're ramping up. Um, for anybody who's joining us and was here last week, I hope you'll recognize this lovely Vespa model that Aaron created last week. This is what we're gonna work with this time around. So we'll hang out for a few moments. Let uh, anybody who's gonna join us start coming in. Um, just a reminder, next week, or actually next week, the following week, um, there are, what do we call them, Matt? Live chats? No. Uh, fireside chat? Is that fireside what we're talking chat. about? Yeah, fireside chat. Yeah, so of course the 3D Basecamp uh, fireside chat series, season two, episode four coming at you. It'll be um, uh, residential architect John Melby will be our guest. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a great show. Uh, that's on Crowdcast. Uh, if you haven't uh, checked it out already, the videos of this season are up on YouTube. Uh, but also you can join live on uh, the SketchUp Crowdcast site. So check it out, 3dbasecamp.sketchup.com. And all the info is there. Thanks. Um, I believe, <clears throat> I, I forget his full name. We had had an amazing architect on Luis, Luis, uh, Bertomeo Sanchez? Yeah. Yeah, he was doing some beautiful work. Um, so that's up. And then on the second week, they have, we had Jeff Branch. Is that right? Yep, that's Jeff right. Branch. Woodworker He's Jeff Branch, yeah. Woodworker. He does a lot of plants. He does a lot of detail. And he did something on materials, if anyone's interested. I, I know we get material uh, people asking that they, they wish we would do more materials in these Um but that's a good one to check out for materials. And then this week, or this last week, was uh, Izzy Swan, inventor, creator, personality extraordinaire. And his stuff is amazing. Yeah, it is bonkers. I think he uh, called them contraptions, and they very much are. Yeah, so everybody should check those out. Okay, I've got a mess of toolbars, and I, I left a few of these up just to be sure... We're going to get a little messy today. So uh, we were we were talking about, like, what are we going to do this week? What are we going to model? Um, the Vespa Aaron created was really cool. If you're going to create a really detailed model, you kind of just have to know that you're going in and tweaking a lot of details, and you're going to spend hours doing it. And in these sessions, um, you know, we, we we're typically try and pick topics that we can feel... <laughs> reasonably sketchily confident that we can get in two hours and um so we thought well, you know it kind of be fun to take aaron's model that he was able to get a nice model and then just go in and say hey what if you worked to start adding more detail to this what are um what are some ways that we might approach that so that's what we're going to do this week i'm going to look at we're we're still going to be limited. We're not going to be able to detail this completely out. Um, but I'm going to look at kind of just a, a couple different approaches to how we might um, add detail or how we might approach these a little bit differently and use um, techniques that may or may not be the best approach, but that will just be kind of a couple of different approaches, if you will. So um, somebody stop me real quick if that doesn't... <laughs> sound good because that's where my head's at i think that think sounds you, great all right personally i would i was hoping you were going to do the homemade versions of vespas from the from the luca movie but you know whatever do oh you. you know jody it hurts my heart every time i let you down i'm i'm sorry brother well it hurts my heart too so i guess yeah. we're in the same boat <laughs> i'm sorry um <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I thought would, just in case, if you um, have gotten to the world of extensions and SketchUp, a lot of the toolbars are reasonable. Some of them, just a few tools. Some of them, though, like this one, if you are on a PC, you can dock these things up into your your uh, UI up here. And if you're on Mac, if you watch as I hover towards the top and towards the side, you can at least reorient them. Now, you can dock a lot of these tools up here, but you're limited. I don't know. Tell me, Jody or Matt or somebody if you know otherwise. But 
I can dock um, things up here, but I, I, I can't extend, you know, kind of the width of this and start multiple rows on a Mac. You're limited to this one row. Yeah, um, you're you're just kind of you're just kind of doomed to that. It's not nearly yeah. as flexible as the Windows. UI. So all all mm -hmm. you Windows users, you can just puff up and be like, huh, 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 if you want. <laughs> Um, I'm going to close out a few of these that I don't think we're going to use some of these. I don't know if we'll use all of them and I'll be moving these around, but yeah, this is, this is kind of a lot of toolbars cause we're going to be poking around for a fair amount of extensions today, getting into trouble. You don't um, have, you don't have all those mapped to keys. I have some of them mapped to keys, so we'll talk about that, but. I don't have all of them mapped to keys. You know so what happens? Keggy, What's Keggy say? He's requesting that you do the uh, Sydney Opera House onto the, the Vespa. I mean, that's not quite what he said. He was just hoping Sydney Opera House, and I just figured, you know, might as well, might as well kick it up a notch. Okay, listen. There, I don't expect everybody to get this reference, but there is a YouTuber out there does some comedy sketches. His name is Ryan George. And I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna throw Ryan George. You're gonna have to get all the way off my back about that Sydney Opera House. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think you've ever committed to it. I think it's you basically are now having to carry the burden of uh, Aaron never wanting to do it. Uh, so let me give a teaser. I do want to do the Sydney Opera House, and I have tested a few methods to do so. And when I'm more confident, we're going to do it. We are going to do it. I'm, I'm committing to it. I'm just not committing to it yet. So how's that for a cop out? Not today. But hey, at least it's <laughs> somewhere. So, okay. So whenever anybody is asking you about doing it, then you won't get mad because you're like, yeah, I know I'm going to do it. Just not right now. Yeah, so but I, I can. That's like me and me and whenever the kids want to go to the pool or something like that. Not right now. I'm doing something. <laughs> Um, Sorry, I, I can pretend to get mad about it, but no, I'm not, I'm not actually, but I might get huffy just cause it's, you know, fun. It's, it's good to have a thing. Yeah. We need a little drama. So what's the, uh, so what's the plan? What's the, where are we going to start with the, uh, modifications on the old Vespa? So the first thing I thought we would do here is a little bit simple and we'll stick to native tools. If we look at, you know, most Vespas that uh, we might look at, they have this kind of interesting trim that goes around the main body. Um, so I thought we would add that uh, or some version of that. So nice. in, in this, what I wanted to do, so Aaron's created this. I wanted to first round out this edge. So I pulled it back a little bit and we're just going to put an arc on here. Nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, something like that. And then let me, uh, soften those edges here because I want to grab this surface you know, which is actually multiple surfaces, but I want to grab that. So I'm going to copy that. And Aaron's got this nicely as a component. So I'm going to copy that, come out of the component, paste it in place, and then move it over, let's say, just some something we can remember, let's say 20 inches. So I can work with it over here on the side. And all we're going to do with this is use follow me and see how, how uh, you know how, how well it works follow me for something like this sometimes may work better or worse um, if you've used follow me for a lot of tight or very undulating curves the results can get kind of skewed but we're going to see what happens now i want to get rid of this inner surface and if i start erasing edges here it's going to take me a while so i'm just going to hide those edges again select the surface and delete it and then that and I just want one of these continuous edges so I'll select this other one 
triple click, get rid of that. So triple click, grab this one and let's weld it. Weld is an extension, but I'm using the native weld that was built into SketchUp a version or two ago. And then uh, we are going to, I maybe should have left that other line in for a bit of a size reference, but we're just going to guess. So it looks like you're, uh, it's, you're being recognized for your having paste in place shortcutted. You actually have it? Do you use it that much? All the time. Who, who doesn't have it shortcutted? That's, that's uh, insanity. <laughs> that's on you. <laughs> I don't use shortcuts. I, I, I click everything with my mouse. I don't even use the keyboard. I threw my keyboard away. I don't even type with the keyboard anymore. I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what I'm guilty of as far as paste in place. It, 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 and this is we're going to see this with these extensions once you get the, the basic functions mapped you start running out so then you're like shift something shift something shift option something shift control something that's when I start forgetting and paste in place I'm usually like shift option V control option V option shift V command <laughs> flick my ears one of them works. What you should do is get some like foot pedals, like for a, <laughs> a keyboard. That'd be grand. All right, let's see. Um, I just want to kind of create basic. I'm going to make each of these I'm going to turn the segments down we, this is tiny we don't need a lot alright something like that will probably work let's find out so select our edge, follow me. Oh, let me move this down so it's more directly aligned with the line that we're working here. Something like that. Let's see what it looks like. Um, I'm going to undo this, make this component. I called it trim. And move this. What do we say? Twenty inches. Sounds good to me. Wait, do we say it? I think so. Let's see. Ah, oh, yeah. What do you think? Oh, you Big know what? Damn. It's a little bit. Okay, good. We can fix that. It's a little bit. That's that's what I get for deleting my other one. That is an easy fix because we are just gonna make this a wider. So we're just nice. going to call this call this stream the uh, Chrome Edging Show. Because mm -hmm. you're going to add lots of lots of Chromes to all the edges. Some people, their life's work is just Chrome edges, you know? If you do it right, Chrome. you got a business going. That's right. Mm -hmm. Just stick to it. Uh, we're going to call that good. This already looks so much better. Thanks a lot, Tyson. It was a good show today. Hey, thanks guys. <laughs> Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see y'all next Yay. week. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also uh, forgot to say hi to everybody at the top of the show. So I'm just going to go through and see where people are tuning in from. Drop it in the chat. Where are you, uh, where are you watching from today? So I got people from Norway. We got uh, Ukraine, Canada. Uh, I, see a, I see a Peru. Ooh, nice. Oh. I see a Sydney. Oh, never mind. That's not actually. A, Sydney what? is not a place. Colorado. What's Love it. Is it in the Ukraine? Yeah, that's a dedication oh right goodness. there. All right. So we often get a handful of folks from uh, from India, and it is midnight this time. So I'm, we're getting people that are should be asleep. 
really. 916 in Ukraine right now. <laughs> that's perfect. So Friday, that's a fun Friday evening right there. Yeah, that's there right. Oh, Mi- Minnesota. Aaron's here. Aaron's here from Minnesota. Nice. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Aaron, is that how you pronounce that? Hey, Aaron. Um, and I should also say the other voice uh, that you heard is Nick. He's in the chat as well, but uh, Nick is with us too. So, Hello, everyone. Call that He's out. in Colorado. I've, I can, I've, I've seen him in Colorado. Actually, I don't think I've seen him in person in Colorado. He's still just fake. <laughs> Virtual. Virtual Nick he is to me. Mm-hmm. Argentina, Colombia, Texas, UK. Oh, my gosh. All over the place. All Thanks for tuning place. in, everyone. So the question, the next question is, how many Vespa owners are there out there that are high Oh, sorry. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Coming through. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you'd go out and get a better Vespa horn than that. Ah. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. That apparently is the legit sound. That's what it actually sounds like. Nice. Just as an FYI, um, Aaron nicely made a lot of this into components. So we're going to spruce up these tires with some detail. And then uh, we'll be able to just drop those back into the tire component and uh, and be golden. And so the only... the a lot of this is nice because because Aaron has this framework for us to work on. I can I can build without having to like reference. You know, last week he had that entire sheet for reference, but I'm just gonna, I can reference the model. Sometimes I've seen people build block models first and then add their detail from that. So that's kind of what I'm gonna be doing. It's uh, it's nice to have this as a reference. So just as an FYI. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of models on 3D Warehouse that you can download, and some of them are be- better uh, you know, organized than others. I assume that Aaron's models are towards the higher end of the organizational chart, perhaps? I love, I I love that assumption. So. <laughs> yeah, especially when you're doing it. Doing it live. Yeah, I've watched, <laughs> him, done. I've watched him in his uh, component naming technique. <laughs> many times and i'll say organization is uh is a subjective term mm. well at least it's not loose geometry that's uh there that's at go. least a starting point <laughs> that is something yeah and sharp-eyed uh aaron called this one out but uh tyson normally seen with the uh with the tablet there but uh using a mouse today so what's the uh what's the difference what what accounts for the Lost the tablet there, Tyson. Well, I'll tell you what. First of all, our good friend Aaron is phenomenally more brave than I am, in that he will he he will jump into one of these things with like a little bit of thinking about it, but like he doesn't he doesn't prep, he doesn't practice anything. I thought about this and I was terrified, and I was like, I better at <laughs> least pull up a few tools and make because i have i haven't done vertex sub d modeling in like a year and i forgot everything so i got in here i started playing around and there's a couple tools that we might get into where um it gets real finicky pointing the exact inference point like it gets super finicky and on a tablet that little bit of of stuff gets real tricky to work with so with a mouse where you can just kind of hone in a little better so i love the tablet it's right here on the side i almost i use it 90 percent. but for some of these things thanks for noticing yeah. though thanks for noticing <laughs> yeah it's good to have the right tool for the job you know sure sure even when i model with the tablet i think i've said this before i always have the the mouse at hand because there's a couple things that I wish would work better, but they just don't. Um, FYI, have any of you guys ever modeled a tire? Like a car uh, tire? Like clothing? No, oh. a car tire. Model the nice. car tire. No. I'm of the I'm of the school of thought that if I'm not going to actually 
if I'm just modeling a car, I will go uh, steel tires, if you will, from the warehouse or somewhere. I'm not going to model up all that extra detail. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. But it's fun. Yeah. Maybe it is. I mean, that's the problem. Is I ha since I haven't done it, I have no idea. I can't speak to the funness. Just how my laziness. Anyway, <laughs> I only say that to say when I when I the first few times I started modeling a car tire, you assume because it's round that it's round all over, and it like especially a car tire, it is not. It is very flat. On. Uh... Yeah, you should see the tires on my Jeep. Like, as soon as you do I mean, it, you're like, yeah, that's not right. The profile turns out to be much more like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. unless you're unless you're modeling like one of those old uh, old racers from like the 1920s. Those things they look like they're running on inner tubes. <laughs> but uh, but to that point, when I looked at this, motorcycle tires are more rounded, and Vespa tires are somewhere in the middle. So we're gonna go with a profile kinda uh, we'll we'll go with like this and then see what, what happens. So nice. We'll try that for starters and we need uh And I'm going to turn this up to, let's say, 60 segments, something that we can get a lot of detail from. That might work for us. We'll, we'll try it. And then on the inside here, Create the rim. Um, we had a question in the chat uh, about um, trim and doing chrome trim. Um, I don't know, Jono, is that how you pronounce your name? But uh, he said he tried to do trim and it got kind of twisted up and he ended up uh, using lofting to do it um, mm -hmm. and wondered why yours uh, went so well. I know there's a couple kind of tricks or like, you know, best practices for um, for follow me. I don't know if you necessarily have to show them, but uh, why in this particular case, do you think that um, the follow me trim worked out the way you wanted it? So I, um, it's going to depend. Um, first of all, you are you are absolutely correct that follow me can get real twisted up. In fact, I if we get a chance, we're going to see a little bit of that with uh, maybe another example. I um, I suspect a couple things that made this work okay, but again, uh, uh, I'm not even going to say it totally worked. It just you know we get we get the advantage of. Um, that that we we're not looking at this you know microscopically where we'd be like this actually doesn't isn't really clean um, if you remember this this was turned this way and here it is this way and that's what we expect after all these turns but when it starts making all these turns however it interprets them is where things get really twisted and if your initial shape here was also off or like however you do that, th there's a number of factors that can happen. And honestly, um, I do a little bit of experimentation to, to find out if one works best and then sometimes they don't. This one did and I actually was kind of surprised it worked as well as it did. Yeah, I, I, sometimes it just it just works, it comes with practice and uh, and testing stuff out, I think for sure. But yeah, I mean, I think you want to have your, you know, uh, outline or your profile, you know, 90 degrees to your path, right? Starting off. That's important. Ideally, yeah, uh, that's going to help out. Um, and like based on the size of the profile, if it's too big and then the curves are like too sharp or something, that would run you into issues too, right? Yes. 
Um, with like overlapping geometry and stuff. If you have really sharp curves, it, it will it will get really messed up. Yeah. You are absolutely right, Matt. Um, so uh, it's hard to know again without like actually looking at your model. Um, there's could be some suggestions, but also could just be that whatever configuration you ended up using um, is just not going to work with the follow me. Now, Interauth, Christina Interauth create has made another tool. I can't remember what it's called. It tries to preserve your original shape as vertical, and that works better if you're doing, let's say, a, a, a water park or something where you have slides going down. And as soon as you get those curves, follow me is twisting, but hers tries to preserve it so it, it, it stays vertical. It doesn't work in every circumstances, but it, it's another one that might be worth looking into. Um, I, I actually tested this with that and I, I couldn't get it to work very well. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, but it, it, there, there are some others out there that, that might work better. But traditional follow me, then you can get the extreme water park. That's like the action <laughs> park version, you know, where it's like flips and stuff along the. It's, yeah. it's, it's the, yeah, it's the one that's going to send you off, uh, hurtling through the sky. <laughs> Yeah, in my younger days, maybe, but these old bones. Upright extrude is is her her extension. Oh, thank you, Jody. Which he tried and it didn't help. So. Yeah. Well. If you're That's using right. the same Close. model and did something similar, that is curious. I, I don't know why, getting a different. But that's interesting. Aaron said you should not use upright extruder when you have vertical paths. Huh. He's not even here and he's trying to tell us what to do. <laughs> Get off my back, like Tyson said earlier. You need to Get out of here. All the way off my back about that. <laughs> <laughs> trying to see if I have any get off my back drops. I don't think we do here, unfortunately. Oh, there's a... Okay, uh, I need to move along from this. Um, from this laid thing, but uh, let's, uh, one more little detail here, and then we'll call it good. So people pay a lot for their fancy hubcaps, you know, so. Good point, Matt. <laughs> Cha-ching! Where's that sound effect? <laughs> Next one, you could have. Should at least have that one. Dang it. You thought you were prepared. I don't know. So the way we're zoomed in, I keep thinking that's an airplane tire. I don't know. I don't know why. Apparently, they have similar tires. Clear for takeoff. Sure. All right. I think for now we'll call that good and uh, no, I, let's do one more thing to this. I think let's... we should bring back, oh, sorry. No, what's that? I think, no. should, I think we should bring back white wall tires. Mm. Imagine yeah. like a new, new Ultima with some white wall tires. <laughs> I like it. I'll talk. We're, we're just gonna fire, but... <clears throat> we're just gonna do that right now. This is a great <laughs> suggestion. Yeah, I mean, but everything is white walled in your model. I know. Yeah. But there, there, we'll give a little bit of a contrast. To show it. Nice. Oh, there you go. That's fancy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is uh that was one of the funner Ooh. parts of Back to the Future <laughs> Three. Oh my gosh. I feel like I would need to wear spats if I'm driving in a car with these, though, you know? <laughs> oh, gosh, old nine. <laughs> spats. <laughs> okay, well, let's, fun work. Hey. let's try something that gets us into a little bit of trouble here. I'm going to grab a oh, few good. That's my, seconds. my favorite thing to do during a model. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 
Jeez, Nick, that was enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> I want to grab a few of these segments to mess around with. So paste those in place and move those off. All right, so we're going to try to add a little bit of tread to this tire. Let's, let's find out if this is a good idea or a terrible idea. Could be a terrible idea. Um, but before we do that, I'm going to revert us back. It's like flashing back in time. So what we're going to do, um, let me create another copy of this to preserve it. And then we're going to use tools on surface uh, and line on surface to split this up a little bit. So this just automatically, uh, like overrides normal, um, like it just only draws on surface. Is that what the, that plugin does? It's a, it's a Fredo plugin and, um, it does it as I, if a normal straight line from here to here, right, would be underneath because of the curve of this shape, but tools on surface try to preserve if I draw from here to here, try to preserve the actual surfaces that they're crossing. Nice. So it kind of drapes almost. Yeah. Cool. So these are these are these are uh, these are pretty cool. Um, now I, I I guess I should apologize in, in advance of being like this is probably gonna look like terrible tread, but. Um, I'm going to worry about less about how it looks and more about just getting it done. Um, we'll tweak, we'll tweak how it looks in a little bit, but let's do that. And let's add like one more here. So if we turn this off, turn off the hidden edges and let me soften some of these. I want this to be like really knobby and off road. Oh, yeah. As you wish, my friend. The Vespa dirt bike. We can do yeah. <laughs> um, did we talk about what Vespa meant last week? When did we talk about that? Oh, we haven't ever talked about what a Vespa means, do we? No. What does it mean? Uh, it's the Italian word for wasp, because apparently the creator of the Vespa, his brother or cousin or something, looked at it and said, it looks like a wasp, except that he said it in Italian. So he probably said, it looks like a Vespa. Nice. Uh, now it's all coming back to me. You did mention this last time. Somebody but mentioned it. It's always good for a refresher. Anybody who wasn't here last week, now you That's know. That's right. Good point. And wasp, if you were here last week, guy. you know, you know twice as much, yeah, or twice as hard. Never forget it. <laughs> uh, let's see. By moving this away from my circle, I need a, I need something to rotate with. So let me. Barely managed to hit mute before sneezing out a big old storm over here. Nice. 
Yeah, the that cough been button for some Yeah. Oh, I got stuff to scare you with. I don't even need to sneeze. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I don't, I don't want to get into that, but I know that as soon as someone says the word save, it's going to get really, really frightening. Save. All up in <laughs> oh, see, that one's nice. Gentle. Yeah. <laughs> Um, because I opened Aaron's model, I was saved from the beginning. Thank you, everybody, though. We know that's going to happen at some point. Nice. <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to take me to get used to that. <laughs> I believe I can not talk for the rest of the uh, show. I'll just use drops only. Um, use you gonna get he's gonna get a lot more selective in the available drops for all future shows just so he can try and have have conversations so uh just uh it, it it's not um obviously this point i took i took my initial sort of knobbies and i'm and then i used um a rotate for two segments of my 60 segmented wheel and i have some overlap and i i would that's fine because now I'm going to adjust for that overlap. So that's all I'm doing now is sort of adjusting so that when I do rotate it, it will uh, not overlap. It will, it'll work out. So I'm just making some adjustments at this point based on, you know, what the, what that, what I'm kind of seeing here. Marconi called you Bumblebee, Matt. That'll be your new name. Bumblebee from the Transformers. He couldn't speak, so he only ever he had to find things on the radio to play. To be able to oh my gosh, that. I did not know that. Oh yeah, but here we are. You didn't watch Transformers? That's like, it's like all yeah. the Oscars. That's right. Well, Mike Bay. I love Mike Bay. So, yeah, man. Seems like it would be in my wheelhouse since we're doing wheels. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Tee it up and knock it home. <laughs> okay. Um, so, based on that, this set uh, should... It won't overlap. It won't be the best tread, uh, but it won't overlap. So, I'm going to take this, 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 and this. Copy them. Paste them outside of the group. Make that... A component and then we're gonna pull them up into knobbies now what um, this is where joint push-pull another Fredo plugin comes in joint push-pull will pull on uh, multiple surfaces so we can do curved surfaces and we could do something like this and Jody this is where you're like super um, knobby tread would come in but nice. I think we're going to do something a little bit different. Let's move. Um, so that the sides of these aren't sort of sticking out, but are sort of more going up. Let's use this V for, this is vector push pull. And I can push this. Let me select it. And then actually I'm going to select all of these. Let me show you what. So I've got all of these selected, vector push pull, and then I'm going to pull from this corner straight up. And so these are more you know, vertical on the sides than out. Nice. I like nice. that. I like that a lot. All right. We have Jody's approval. We're moving ahead. <laughs> Woohoo! So uh, I went and did a search for off road Vespa. Since we're <laughs> talking about that anyway. And I was not disappointed, and I don't think you would be either. Uh, I'm searching this. It, the idea of someone wearing full-on like cyclocross armor and helmet while riding around on a Vespa just amuses me. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Based on where I put this tread, uh, I am going to change where our white wall is here. So. Um, this is another tool that we're going to get into using, but the, what is this? I don't remember what all these are called. 
basically we're gonna use quad face tools and select a loop right because if i wanted to select all of this edge to unhide it it would be a pain to work your way all the way around but i can select one and i'm going to select an edge loop ah no that's the wrong one <laughs> what is it i don't know it might be under here i mapped it to a keyboard shortcut what here watch this shift l select loop nice Ooh. i don't remember what it's called anyway that's a nice it way to do that is it selection toys it might be hmm. except that i'm sure tom um, tom's in the audience he'll tell us it's not it's not quad face loops which does this it's um edge loops and uh so somebody out there i'm sure will know anyway uh edge loops useful i'm gonna weld these same up here i have to say tyson you're doing a great job being chattier now i don't know if it's deliberate or what but sometimes you get a little two heads down today your head's right in the right spot I guess. Oh, heads up? I don't know. I feel like if I say heads up, you're going to think something's getting thrown at you. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, there we go. Just changing our painting surface here. Now, let's see, where were we? Where's our... I'm going to rotate that. by two and we made this 60 so we need 29 copies nice nice oh jody okay. said it first ah. <laughs> i got there quicker the hand is quicker than the eye nope So I'm going to get rid of these and then paste them in place into our component and then Mira and oops, that didn't work. Did it? I got too clicky with my buttons. Uh, Aaron said it is from quad face tools referring to, I think the select loop. Quad face tools, select loop. It's up here somewhere. But I'm not going to bore everybody by trying to find it. But thanks, Aaron. What was the name of the other extension you used? I'm just putting it in the uh, in the description. The one that draw on face, the Fredo one. Uh, it's called Tools on Surface. Tools on Surface, OK. All right, let's uh, move this over here in place. Nice, that's a good looking wheel. Aaron did mention last time that he's he was gonna short the time on the wheel in order to prioritize other stuff. Um, yeah, that makes sense. But, but uh, yeah, no, this is a, a beauty. Because he did say that some streams he's done like two hours just on wheels, and I'm like, man, well, you know, <laughs> I think you spent a good amount of time on the wheel. Because I was All doing right. the timestamps afterwards of like, you know, the body and the handlebars, and the wheel was like two minutes, and I was like, okay, does this even deserve its own timestamp? Jeez, Gosh. you want to like you want to do wheel and what took the next five minutes? Yeah, oh man. There. Stuff works. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, there Aaron. All right, we're going to leave this um, 
We're going to get rid of some of this, actually. We don't need it anymore. Some of our... If we were going to keep tweaking this, I would leave some of this out here, but I think the only thing we're going to tweak is... Um, I'm just going to hide some of these edges, which just in SketchUp is kind of visually something that I think will look a little better. So I'm going to hold the shift key and actually just erase some of these. Yeah, that's one thing is like modeling is certainly one thing, but then sort of getting your model ready for presentation or for like, um, you know, obviously rendering or whatever is a completely different, uh, different ball game. Mm -hmm. So you can see that changes kind of how it looks and let's not spend too much time going in and keeping tweaking this, but, um, let me, oops, go back into this and get rid of that last one. Now, how many times have you made tire treads before? I don't know. Oh, I've really? Made... That many? Nice. Oh. I don't, I, <laughs> I don't know, Jody. How many times have you cut a two by four before? See, that's my question, right? Is I mean, how often is it? I would I wouldn't be modeling tread on tires, so it begs the question of how many are you are you doing something that you're very familiar with, or are you just sort of winging it right now? A little of both. Um, I think if I was very familiar, I would have made a better tread pattern. I mean, it looks like tread, obviously, but it's probably not a, a particularly good tread pattern i don't know it's better than it was slip yeah. sliding around and it's yeah, got white walls totally for... nick <laughs> yeah that's the key um so uh i thought another thing we could do this um let's say we want to add some um you know again kind of this trim edge towards the base of this uh what shall we call it? What did Aaron call it? Um, I think when I when I was doing the, yeah, I think it's called chassis on the plans, but uh, I don't know what part is the chassis and what's the, you know, floor. But yeah, fender sounds right. Yeah. Okay. Um, we could do. This is not so dramatic. We probably could get for the level of detail we're doing. Um, <clears throat> You know, use the same follow me that we did up here. Um, but at the risk of failing horribly, because that's always fun, I thought I would take a little bit of time and try my hand at recreating this with um, using the vertex tools and subdivide at, with an eye towards uh, just m making this a little more detailed. Just, I, again, kind of as like, here's another way we might approach it. So we're just kind of experimenting today. And uh, let's see what happens. So, <clears throat> so I'm trying to look and see sort of what was the basis that Aaron used last week? Did he create the base first and then sort of build it upwards towards this top? Shrinking it in. Looks like that could Wait. be how we did it. Um, and we're going to try and go the other way then. Just to be dangerous. So I'm going to use um, just the regular line tool. Again, Aaron's done a lot of the work for us. And I'm just going to draw some lines up here where these uh and i and i don't want a lot of detail because we're going to use subdivide so i am just trying to get a few key points along the way nice danger it's exciting danger danger 
can't really see our edges yet, but we will. So if I hide this, oops, where's all my lines? Where my lines are at? They're hidden in there. Was I editing? Um, I don't know. Couldn't tell. Are you guys watching? I wasn't. I mean, I was watching, but not you. <laughs> okay, so I was editing. I put this lines in here. That's fine. Um, I've got. If you look, I've got the. Um, I just selected, so I'm going to make them a component. So YouTube and uh, Lawrence are, are kind of working out this idea of a Vespa chopper or a Vespa chopper. With, so they want, they want you to put some like some big old ape hanger, like really high reach handlebars. Can't really see that my hands are up here, but. You know. <laughs> big old like. We're gonna extend these out and da, 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 yeah, da, they've got to be, da, da, da. but they've got to be. They've also got to go high and then right. come back down. Curve them up them. and <laughs> yeah, that sounds pretty fun. I, I feel like that's probably had to have happened in real life too. Surely it has. They've got a Vespa with a tank gun on it. The fact I mean, that I started to type Vespa with and it auto completed ape hangers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at least not the first person to ask. Huh. So, um, yeah. just so we just, sorry, Jody, quick introduction. Vertex Tools Part 2, um, which I hadn't played around with very much, but one of the features about it that is just, it's really awesome is that the when you activate vertex tools so i've got our edges selected here and you activate vertex tools which is this and i've got this mapped to a keyboard shortcut so i'll be doing that from now on so i do this and i activate you can hold um or you can tap the controller option or hold it down to move out surfaces and you can do that with the move tool and you can do that with the scale and you can do that um, so you can create new vertices and surfaces as we go and this is a hot mess but um, we're actually going to use this in a, in a useful way and, it, and that's a really uh, pretty awesome feature I think that came with vertex tools part two so that's what I'm going to start doing is building these out and tweaking the vertices to generally match this shape and uh all right as you were sorry jody what were we saying i don't even know now uh, i mean that was not not nearly as exciting as what you were saying so yeah that's cool it's like a different way to kind of sculpt versus like last week uh you know aaron was kind of using the quads and sort of just building the general shape and then smushing it around sort of mm -hmm. this is going instead of maybe like bottom up it's like side on kind of um but it's cool to see because i remember there was a extension called like what line push pull or something like that that did a similar thing um but it's nice that it's part of vertex tools because then yeah Looks very helpful. Um, I also have, you know, drops to use. So. Uh, the freaking weekend. Yeah, oh. weekend. <laughs> Friday. Nice. It's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Wait, wow. wait, wait. Wait, you can't use the original Rebecca Black on that one? Like, <laughs> what's going on here? I didn't want to get copyright flagged by YouTube. 
It's my greatest fear from making a soundboard. Uh, so. I think that's valid. Yeah. Oh, although what a lot of channels will do is play things slightly faster or slower or reversed. So maybe maybe just play it in reverse. Like, hear if there's any uh, satanic messages. I wish there was a reverse button on here. Gosh. Golly. It's time for mistletoe and holly. No, it's not. Christmas in July? No. Why not? Yeah, man. <laughs> bring, bring, bring a little bit of that holiday spirit in. But we have to wait till the 25th ish. Ah, uh, yes. I feel like uh, Southern Hemisphere people get sort of get the raw end of the the deal with Christmas because it's in summer for them. Yeah, it's not cool. I would probably flip it if I lived in Australia. You do your uh. thing, uh, two years in, in july yeah yeah just invert the year you know have the new year at the Makes end of me yeah Ugwan. you guys got oh, it took me a minute to... what's that it took me a moment to process what og one meant he's calling that the first oh. of the year oh mm -hmm. Got it. I I didn't. I missed that. That's all right. You're drawing and listening. Well, and, and, being and uh, <laughs> at this point, like everybody, if you, you know, this is where if you need a bathroom break or want to go, you know, refresh your soda, this is the point because watching somebody tweak a, a bunch of little vertices, I, I won't do this ad nauseum, but like, ah. So, I mean, Aaron has this whole thing where he likes to go in and uh, and, and stitch. And I feel like it's only appropriate you also have a little stitch in, stitch in time. Well, you know what? I'm going to use a little, um, a little bit different method that's going to kind of do the stitch thing for us. So um, prepare to have your mind blown, mm -hmm. buddy. Auto stitch. Stay tuned. Oh. It's, yeah, let's hear uh, the drop for that one. So let, let's let's see here. This is a little bit tweaked. Let me get this one, and then then we've got to figure out how to resolve the rest of these, right? Because these we all did by pulling them out and then kind of shrinking them in where they should be, but we can't keep doing that now that we've kind of hit the side. So here. What we're going to do, all right, you ready? Let's uh, get vertex tools and we're going to pull out, let's say, a couple sections that we'll tweak. But, oh, that woke Aaron up. It's the, the, the call of stitching. Got him chanting in the in the audience. Oh, <laughs> well, all right. See these two vertices, boom, joined. See these two vertices, boom, merged. Merged. What? No stitching. This is voodoo magic. Voodoo magic. Yes, sir. <laughs> Does Italy have some sort of? Uh cultural magician type, you know, like the Bruja Mexican wizard or the, the voodoo uh, from New Orleans area. Like everybody's, every country, every every nation or every region has some sort of magical something, right? No? I would hope so. I mean, they're missing out if not. Mm-hmm. Italian magician is not giving me the results I was hoping for on uh, on the internet. So what button is it on Vertex Tools? That <laughs> is it just called Join, or? So this is another part that's on Vertex Tools Part Two. So if you're look, 
if you're working with huh. uh, the original, you won't have. Um, I'm not to play. Play. Oops, sorry. What? <laughs> it's happening right now. This happened last week too. All my things are like automatically attached to keys, like have keyboard shortcuts, and then I try to like look something on Google, and then I just hit like 15 <laughs> sounds at once. Sorry about that. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, nice. uh, but yeah, Vertex Tools Part Two has more some of um, these merge uh, vertices commands. And... Do they really call it Part Two? I I think so. Vertex Tools Two. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's I think Vertex it... Tools Two. I think it should be Vertexer. Nice. Vertexer. Or like that. Nice. Yeah, it's more more vertex. <laughs> um, I bet there's a command um, to stitch these. In fact, this one is a bridge. If you have multiple things, I, I'll guess I'll try it. But I'm I should be. Yeah. Okay. So it bridges between those. Um, let's undo that. You know what? I, I, I'm going to end up with a, a few tries, but that might be okay. I could still keep my quads if I get these two. So I'm going to say. This is this is where like <laughs> if anybody out there knows it, knows this tool better, they'll be uh, able to say you know here's a few things to that speed up this process but um, let's see let's merge these let's merge these and what is the command to fill this last I've got one last thing to fill but it's still a quad but um, I can do this and I'd have to Convert this to a quad. Somewhere is convert to quad, and I don't know if it'll work. That one might not register as a quad, but let's find out. Just overall, we got some tweaking to do here, obviously, but let's see how this looks with sub D. Okay, we're doing all right. That was a that was an interesting fun bit of noise. Yeah, what's going on out there, you guys? They're mowing at my apartment complex. Hello, Please. sir. Thank you for keeping the grass trim. Yeah. The grass right. that keeps on growing. I guess that's a good thing, right? Uh yeah. The trim the trimming and the growing. Both both of those things. It's good to have nature naturing outside. True. Very true. Yes. Growth, Mother Nature, and uh, and keep it kept, well kept. You know. What do you want? Unkempt. No, they don't. Well, somebody does, but somebody does. Don't they go out of the way, go to nature for that? Doing it wrong. Just got to have a nice, manicured. Short grass lawn, no foliage. Every time I mow, my kid, my kids get mad because there's, uh, they just want it to get all wild and unruly. Like <laughs> we just wanted a you know, jungle. Yeah, basically. running around and. Um, <clears throat> all right, I I should catch myself from kind of getting too caught up in these weeds but uh, catch yourself before you wreck yourself <laughs> well I the point I think anybody who hasn't tried these understands that you can tweak this and kind of get the shape in the thing I wanted to show it's kind of fun um, my shape is let's see if there's any like egregious let me pull that one out a little bit. Is um, uh, 
is yeah, because... this is good timing. Uh, Lawrence was just asking why why you're uh, you decided to take on redoing the side panel. So if we look down here, what we can do with this uh, same kind of technique we've been doing is if I activate um, again, we can move a, a new copy, but I can also use the scale tool and scale out and hold shift and scale out wide and do that, move that down just a little bit. And then I will move down another one, right? So now we're creating that rim as part of the geometry. That's why we did it. And so then nice. I will scale that back in a little bit underneath there. Actually, that's a little bit more. And then move up. And we move one more copy and scale that up. Just so it's out of the way. But the, so we get some sort of sense of depth under here. But yeah, so now if we look at uh, we look at this with sub D, if we toggle all of these edges off, we get get that trim kind of built in. Now let's tweak that a little bit. Um, so let's take this edge here, select the loop, and add some sharpening sharpen it up to say 80 or 90 if you haven't used vertex tools or sub d um, when you have an angle meeting sub d creates more surfaces so it graduates it out but if you want a sharp angle you want to preserve a sharp angle you can give it sharpness and it um, depending on the amount the angle the amount of sharpness you get it will as you'll see here preserve that corner more or less. So I've got that 90. Now if we do this, we've got more of a kind of sharp edge down there. All right, that that's fine. That's That was the point. Nice, that's cool. I and mean, it's nice to see that you have like the, you know, the keyboard shortcuts and stuff set up. You know what you're, what you're going for, what your workflow is. So you can kind of move through, I assume if you weren't talking through it, you know, it would go pretty select loop, you know, hit the number up and boom, 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 you're off to the races. For sure. And and by, by all means, yeah, for people who are very familiar, there's a lot of tools I'm not using that I think actually would speed this up more. I, I probably did some of these things the hard way. Um, whereas you could uh, do some stitching specifically with the vertex tools in a better way than I did. So let me get, let me uh, cut that. I'm going to go into this component. Let me group this. Well, I'm sorry, Aaron. We're just going to replace your guy. Nice. I like it. Custom modded. There we go. Also, Marconi was uh, asking for specific song requests. I'm not a DJ, so I'm not taking any requests today, but uh, <laughs> we, I have some songs in the hopper still. Uh, and actually, look at the time. Oh, we're <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. All right. I got to tell a story. <laughs> you got to tell a story. Yay! <laughs> Story time! Yeah! A couple, a couple weeks ago, we were driving back from Arizona up to Denver, and that drive is a, is a good 14 hours in the car, and, and my kids... My, what, about the time we're getting up to um, Albuquerque and Santa Fe, New Mexico, they just queue up that song. Because that's, that's roughly halfway for the drive. And then everybody in the song is just belting terribly. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm excited that your kids know that song. I know, right? I guess that's, that's, that's kind of fun. I'm a little proud of that. I don't know if I can take credit for it, but, you know, still. 
you get you at least get partial credit if not all because i mean you've got some of the genetic matter that helped define them so somewhere in there <laughs> somewhere in there <laughs> okay um let's see let's, what's next let's come in here um i i'm sorry to disappoint disappoint you jody and disappoint anybody who really wants to you know make big old handlebars on, on here <laughs> i don't think we're gonna tackle that today um that's fine it's fine it's fine uh, I think the link to Aaron's original model is in the um, description. So if anybody does want to make their own custom mod of the Vespa, they're, of course, more than welcome to. Yes. Um, I was going to... Create this, and I'm going to make a component. Move it over here, and then move a copy up here to the wheel. And just turn this back kind of the way it would be going. And we're going to create a little bit of kind of the, the guts, the shock, and the brakes, and a, a little bit. Emphasis on a little bit. We're not going to. That's about the right spot. Let's see. Something like that. I'm just getting a general reference for, I think it stays within the hub. And I've got that one turned and kind of sized correctly. So I'm, I'll do a little bit of work on this or a little bit of work over here. Sometimes it's nice to stay in the axis. So I'm going to do some of that here. Turn my arc segments up. Let's see. I really like the, uh, the simple shape there. I feel like if they had it to do over again, Piaggio would probably do the exactly that design. Yeah, simplicity, beauty, mm -hmm. streamlined. Wasp. <laughs> what is the essence of water? Is that what he says? Water, moisture. Well, I, I want I want to be sure that our co-hosts get that reference. Do they? Does everybody get that reference? Uh, sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's from. I, I'm... Go ahead. No, yeah, no, I'm, I'm checking. I'm making sure. Matt and, Matt That's and what I was basing it on. Pressure. Yeah. Uh, no, it's from Zoolander. It was one of his ad campaigns that he was in. Ah, uh, right, right. It's got a great bit of Zoolander. He's he's being a fish swimming around, making fish face. That's some high quality uh, advertisement. I don't remember what he's actually hawking there. Probably cologne. More yeah. moisturizer. Oh, I got it in the chat. It might just yeah, be water. Nice. <laughs> it might just be water. It could right. be. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's the essence of wetness. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I've never seen that movie. It was the. It was made the year I was born. Nice. That's a long. It was not a long time ago. <laughs> maybe I'll have to uh, watch it. It was made. The maybe it'd be. Born. That doesn't make any sense. It's you're, you're even more of a kid than I thought you were. Jeez, this is no good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's pretty good. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pretend that it's high theater or high cinema, but, uh, you know, there's a handful of really good references there. Also, the way that his model friends die. You've probably seen the, the video <laughs> clips of all these models just splashing gasoline around while they're listening to Wham. No? 
No, I haven't, but... Oh, no, you should watch a movie. I'll watch the if you movie. Like, if you like Ben Stiller stuff, you would probably, you'd probably appreciate it. Will do. <laughs> I need a whole list. I'm getting so many movies. <laughs> Aaron said that Nick just called us old. I think Aaron just called us old. I don't think Nick did I any such thing. Anything. Yeah, I think Aaron. This is all Aaron. Aaron, are you calling me young? I don't want to be called young. How often do you hear the word whippersnapper shouted at you? Every time I walk out of my house. <laughs> Go figure. Do you walk immediately through some some old person's flower garden or something? <laughs> oh, I'm not supposed to do that? No. Shoot. Well, I mean, whippersnappers would do that. I guess it depends on if you identify as whippersnapper. Every once in a while, maybe, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Cool, cool. Um, so just FYI, at this point, I'm using Fredo's simple um, chamfer corner to add some detail on these little pieces. Um, but I shouldn't get hung up on this because there was something else I wanted to show that was kind of fun. So let me move ahead a little bit. So are you getting all of your ideas from that tiny little picture in the corner there? <laughs> I was going to say, is that your reference image? Partially and partially, uh, I have an image printed out here on my desk. Oh, OK. Nice. And also, you have a photographic memory of Vespa parts. <laughs> I saw I, one in a I movie once, so I'm just going off that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seven years ago. Yeah. <laughs> The year I was born. If um, you, this looks pretty much nothing like it, so you know, at this point, yeah, that's <laughs> we're taking a lot of liberties here. That's fine. Can you show the reference uh, thing you printed out on the overhead camera? Well, yeah, and this happens to be a model. As happens. Um, models that get built in a lot of detail out there um, oh cool wait is that a sketchup model yes but not originally <laughs> so I was gonna say there's models we, we all know in the warehouse there's models that have been built uh, you know in max or blender or Maya or something and then they get mm -hmm. pushed to the warehouse and this is one of those I found this this is a, a really beautiful beautifully detailed model of a Vespa uh, that's in the warehouse. So uh, just using it as a reference because it has some of these nice details. Um. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, I think it's very rare that, uh, or not very rare, but rare that somebody would, uh, you know, only ever use SketchUp for everything, <laughs> you know, um, especially sure. when there's so many model like resources out there now, you know. 3D warehouse or like whatever Thingiverse or some other, you know, paid place or whatever. I get 3D models from somewhere. A friend, guy next door, guy up the street. Yeah. Guy on a street corner. Just provided. On CDs. <laughs> on CDs. That's right. <laughs> Just loose CDs, no it's labels you, on any of them. It's funny you even know what a CD is. <laughs> I'm not that young. <laughs> Still got my old, my dad's old Metallica CDs from college. Nice. Excellent. You have them or you play them? I have them. Um, I hang you on the art project. I, 
<laughs> I don't have any like DVD players. I can play them in my Xbox. That's about it. So, like, <laughs> I don't know any time when I do that. In fairness, like when did Mac stop having CD ports and Windows probably still has some, but maybe they've done the same. Like, you know, can only laugh so much that it's it's not that available. I just I just bought a new Jeep and I didn't even have the option of having a media player, a like a CD player in there. All my internet, all my music has to come from some digital source. Yeah. From the air or from silicon. It's a shame. I mean, CDs, cassette tapes, like there's just a certain, it sounds so good. It's like vinyl, you know, you play a cassette and it's like, oh, baby. <laughs> it's like VHS movies like like watching VHS as a kid I was like oh nice this is like what movies are like you know this is what they look like and then looking back they're like this is absolute trash <laughs> wow Especially... these movies looked horrible <laughs> yeah okay so Lawrence threw this, threw this out here uh, whippersnapper was a 17th century term for a young man with nothing better to do than to hang about idly snapping a whip a whippersnapper literally is a young man that's out snapping whips. So, do you snap whips, Nick, when you're uh, walking out of the house? Maybe that's what maybe that's why the... you catch that. Uh, yeah, I actually, that, that's probably why I do do that. <laughs> Wait, that makes so much sense now. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready for Matt to have a whip sound effect. Oh no, not in here. Uh, Dang it. Um, will these do? Good. <laughs> One of those sounds like a space whip. <laughs> no? Okay. No. Eh. Next time, I'll bring a bunch of different whips. And music. Yes. Lots of songs. Never gonna give! Never gonna give! <laughs> yeah, I, I want clarification on that. Who? What? Is that a Western thing? Or where... I, I don't want to say whips only existed in the West. They obviously didn't, but... I, if the term whippersnapper comes from somebody just dinking around whipping, who who's doing that? Who which, which culture is that? It's like, what did you guys used to do for fun? Oh, you know, we'd snap whips, we'd idly hang about. Um. <laughs> Let's see, we were lo we loitered. For that <laughs> we invented loitering. <laughs> uh, uh... Well, now I'm going to find, I'm going to go try and find, I guess Lawrence is going to have to throw it out because otherwise everything I'm finding is just the more casual use of just being a young person who annoys older people. <laughs> Peggy <laughs> said we've been Rickrolled. Nice. Matt Rickrolled Probably. us. Trying to. If I could find, like somehow find a way to like get onto Tyson's screen and then take over the entire stream with a Rickroll, that would be that would be the dream. But uh, I guess I've Tiny just given away my entire hand. <laughs> so. oh. Okay. Something uh, I have to look out for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ove was saying I, I was going to have a bunch of different whips next week and he's like, oh boy. It's not a very good stream. Okay, We're saying so... family friendly here, and uh, <laughs> the whips are just being idly snapped. They're not being snapped in anyone's particular direction, or for any particular. Uh, yeah. So apparently, whippersnapper uh, could also be a snipper snapper from the 1580s, <laughs> or if it, if it happened to be female, then it would be a whipper Jenny. Oh. oh. But it does not give a region for where the snapping of whips was happening. I mean, I feel like pretty much any place there was a whip, there's probably some young man or woman out there just snapping it idly. It does sound kind of fun. <clears throat> it, I mean, it does, yeah. What's not to like? <laughs> so I want to take a moment and talk about what's happening. Because I, I found this kind of interesting. I've, I've done wires and pipes and stuff with a couple things. I think there's some designated tools that actually do it really well. 
but this was still kind of an interesting way. Um, so let me show what I'm going to do. Basically, there's we're going to create two lines going down here. One, um, one being a, I don't know. One's a break line, and and one might be a something else. But it was just in the in the model reference I had, and I'm creating for myself kind of a couple just reference. So we'll come out a little bit. Just points in space, really. Um, like from the Muppet Show? Oh, that was Pigs in Space. Never mind. <laughs> Bet we lost Matt and Nick on that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm lost in space. <laughs> It should make a movie or I mean a TV series about that. <laughs> and then, um, so let's say I want a line to run through all of these points. Uh, obviously, the native SketchUp tools. If you're going to try and do that with the Arc tools and stuff, that's that's going to be pretty painful. But um, Fredo Spline has a couple options. One of which will work well for this. So if I pull up Fredo Spline here and go to create curves. He has a number of options and this one, um, what's this called? Local fit spline. So watch, if I click here, I'm gonna make sure I can see what I'm doing. Here. And it is going to Create that spline through those points. Whoa! Ooh, yeah. <laughs> ah! yep. How many you got, Matt? Uh, well, we got a lot. If it just claps, we have about 20 different applause sounds, so. Nice. <laughs> nice. How many nices do you have? Just the one? Two. Nice. Okay. That sounds like Tommy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> just me. An angry Tommy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Save is my favorite. <laughs> I'd like save too. The A fine nice save. Gentle... No, no, the gentle one. Oh, gentle. Yeah. Save. It reminds me of. Uh, Linus from Peanuts. I don't know why. Uh, I'd like to know the context of it, though. Of this particular sound effect? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. I, uh, I This is one of the ones I got from like the very first stream that I had sounds for. I don't remember what it was from. Just one of the, you know... Uh, Creative Commons sounds that didn't have any copyright associated with it. So is there sort of like there's sites where you can go and download all kinds of just clip art or uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, like stock clips. Yeah, yeah, stock photography. So I hadn't really ever considered that there's probably a place out there to go download stock sounds as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and actually if you just Google whatever sound you want, and then CC0, that's the Creative Commons Zero license. That's like the license that uh, doesn't require any copyright or doesn't have any copyright associated with it. It's like free uh, okay. to use and uh, change or whatever. So if anybody's looking for, you know, sounds out there, it's a way to do it. Unless you have a subscription to a site or something. Sounds.com. Yeah. Um, quick note, because we talked about this earlier. If we use uh, follow me right now on this, create our pipe. So uh, at this at this size, this bend doesn't want to resolve. We get, we're getting some issues. Um, a common 
way to get around that to make that work is to so I've made this a component and I'm gonna make a copy and then scale it up like 50 something really big and then if I run the same exact thing on this larger scale component it will resolve that it, like it you know SketchUp if we just think back to its roots was an architectural model at its heart it just it doesn't love tiny tiny geometry but yet if we just do that it resolves it at this tiny scale so that's a common technique I think most people out there probably already know that but just uh, just in case you can make something a component scale up a copy of it and perform your operations on that large copy to get better results on your actual version so now nice. I did not make this path sort of like go anywhere so I'm just gonna kind of tweak it like this where I'm not I'm not gonna build more on this that was the idea though is that Fredo Fredo spline if you want a path to sort of exactly hit through various points Fredo spline uh, you can do that there's probably some other stuff out there but that's that that one i i only learned about this week so that was cool yeah good call uh lawrence asked if i had any fart sound effects no unfortunately not just the real deal <laughs> yeah if you so if you do yes, hear any do. farts on this stream you'll know that it's uh <laughs> we totally they're do. organic they are organic. organic yeah <laughs> And fam, civil engineer, a bit late. Thanks for tuning in anyways. Appreciate you coming to the stream. Appreciate you. Good to see you again. Just, just appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. All right. Um, let's get this out of the way. So again, in this kind of spirit of just experimenting with some different ways to... Um, to work on an organic shape like this. Uh, let's try recreating this front wheel well. And I think the best way to do so still would be to use vertex tools and subdivide and quad, um, which by the way, um, TomTom's vertex tools and, and sub D tools are phenomenal for this, but you can get similar stuff with Artisan. So, both of those are sort of the vertex tool options out there. And um, I, I'm, if you play with them, you probably have, you probably develop a preference for one over the other, but they're both excellent tools. They're both paid tools, but in my opinion, easily worth it for anything that, that involves a little bit of organic detail like this. So that said, I, I wanted to try doing it in a different way. Um, just to see what we could do. So we're going to try that. We're going to try and recreate this with soap skin bubble. Now another one that would work really well for this is Curvaloft, Fredo's Curvaloft. Um, that definitely could work. Uh, I'm going to try soap skin bubble, but I think curve aloft would be a good one to to work with too. Let's see. So what did we use? Do we, did we use we used curve aloft last week? Aaron did, right? Uh, he did for yeah, like the knee guard, whatever that part was called. Yeah, um, he used curve aloft for that. Nice. Uh, yeah, for this particular piece, I think it was just sub D and vertex tools, but. Or maybe he just did the profile. Or no, he did the shoot, I can't remember. Sorry, I didn't mean to I didn't mean to throw up so much controversy. <laughs> yes, you did. Maybe if he Yeah. Maybe I did. You'll never know. Oh, we know. No, I for... said you you'll never know. No, but we do. Do you though? Uh huh. 
-hmm. That's yeah. my impersonation of Thor. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do that same thing where I use the Fredo spline to create uh, part of the curves here that I want. So. Uh, Aaron did chime in, said he used native tools for this particular piece. Yeah. Of course. He and did. oops. And it's a lovely job, I may add. So again, we're just sort of like experimenting with what we could uh, what we could try. if I can get good. Okay, well, let's see what we can do here. Um, I want a straight edge about to there, and then we'll curve it up. Straight edge, say about to there. And then group those two and start building inside there. Let's see. Also, one notable thing about this weekend is uh, the American Independence Day. It's on Sunday. Um, so I have prepared a drop for that. If you guys would like to listen to it, it's musical. And so I thought we could fill some air with music for the next. Oh, do it today, though? Uh, yeah, getting ready. We're preparing. We're getting the spirit. I mean, I don't want to I don't want to offend any of our colonial friends. You know, okay. it in the face but or anything like that. I can think of a few we want to offend, like personally. <laughs> um, okay, well, we'll see. If you are offended, uh, please drop it in the chat. <laughs> please, drop. The whole thing. <laughs> please drop from the chat. You guys hear this? We can skip ahead a little bit here. I feel, I feel bad for the flute. I think that's a piccolo. Oh. I'm not 100% sure. But it does seem hard. Really, well, really high woodwind notes like that. You just don't hear them in modern music. Yeah. Yeah, they got the short end of the pop music. All right, we can skip forward to the best part. <laughs> <laughs> okay well that's that <laughs> um it's fourth of july related so yeah well, there you go and in all fairness there is a fourth of july everywhere in the world i mean we're not it's not just america we just happen to make a big deal out of it yeah yeah still the day enjoy the day um carpe the diem yeah as uh, tyson said earlier i am kind of struggling through this one it it it's fighting me on uh, getting these points so i hope this is going to work and we're going to move ahead because it's been a little bit Obstinate. I like it. Sometimes you just got to reach for the stars, you know? Reach for the stars and stripes. Just kidding. Keep your feet <laughs> on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. <laughs> That's right. Great advice to live by. You know who said it? Shaggy. Mr. Shaggy of uh, Wasn't Me fame. <laughs> Not that Shaggy. That's Shaggy. Oh. <laughs> oh, right. It's on the pronunciation, you know. 
<laughs> That's why English is a hard language to learn because everyone knows there's a difference between shaggy and shag. <laughs> exactly. Exactly right. <laughs> Is Casey Casey Kasem is no longer with us? Is that correct? Yeah, he moved on. I think. Yeah, uh, seven years ago it was. That's pretty good, though. Pretty impressive. He uh, he has three things to be remembered for. Although, I could I could just say right now, Nick, have you ever heard of Casey Kasem? Because maybe he isn't being remembered for Diddly Squat. I can't say i knew him before you said that okay that's fine then wait what are, the, what are the three things so he did the voice of shaggy from scooby-doo oh, oh yeah yeah, I yeah, didn't yeah, know yeah. That. he had the top he had the, the weekly top 40, top 40. yeah and that's where the feet on the ground thing was and then he was also no okay it was only two he didn't do i was, I was thinking he did the the new year's countdown but that was dick clark right so never mind he probably had some some other uh, thing else under his belt. Oh, probably. I think he did a lot of like cartoon voices. So, mm -hmm. just, Shaggy would be the most obvious. But now the new Shaggy is always going to be Matthew Lillard. Right. Yeah. Who's actually just a hacker from the movie Hackers to me. That's all he is. Yeah, who is he to me? I'm trying to think. I guess Shaggy. I don't know. Yeah. SLC Punk? I don't remember the guy's name, so he can't be can't be that guy. Mm-hmm. I never saw that one. No, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. It was one of the ones people talked about in high school, but I never so yeah i was out of high school before that movie came out although i think matthew lillard is older than me let's get to the bottom of this put it in the chat who do you think's older matthew lillard or jody <laughs> if you win we have a giveaway so the real question is does anybody here know who matthew lillard is he's like a, he's known oh yeah if he was in scream too forgot about that uh, scream. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Sorry, Tyson, you stopped talking, and now Matt and I are having to try and fill the fill the void with things like uh, music, holiday music. I do have some long ones. Like, remember this one from last year? <laughs> this is like a minute long. <laughs> Who doesn't like a bit of uh, contagious <laughs> laughter, though? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's just somebody laughing, Tyson. Yeah. Come on. Oh, just laugh. <laughs> okay, well, I'll, I'll take this laughter as how much I struggled to get, sub, uh, to get soap skin to work, but just to walk back through what I was doing here. Um... So I created the two shapes and the outline and then soap skin. Yeah, I could be wrong, but I think it tends to work vertically. So I took this, but I don't know if it works on the local axis or not. So I, in any case, I took one of my copied components. I stuck it over here, ran soap skin on it and then bulged it out so that I get this rounded version. So this is, if we were if we were going for accuracy um this you know probably wouldn't be the best method but it's i don't know like i said kind of an interesting different way to approach this and uh, mm -hmm. we took this so we group this and let's just test what this looks like if we subdivide so we got this kind of really uh, interesting shape going on here. Yeah, so that, that'll work. Yeah, it's nice. That'll do for us. I do feel like every time I use use soap scan, I have to like 
watch all the tutorial videos over again because I forget every time how to, like I can't, can't do it right the first time. I feel like that's that's the trickiest thing for so many of these projects is I use if I use a tool infrequently, then I'm spending a bunch of time relearning that tool the next time I next time I try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That looks cool though. It is like a. I feel like some people maybe dismiss soap skin as being like inaccurate or something like you sort of mentioned, but for like a quick, you know, sort of uh, consistent look or like a clean, you know, uh, curve look, it looks great. Does a good job. Oh, thank you. Now we might get into a little bit. Uh, it's actually working well. I we may need to. Um, add uh, uh what is this one called sharpening to this inside edge because sometimes that'll act up but otherwise this is looking okay if we let's let's see what happens if we increase the subdivisions not a lot of difference i don't know if we're getting much out of that so Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Beauty. Again, mostly just something of uh, eh, let's let's see what we can see if we can get into trouble trying some different stuff. Um, because we didn't create this with quad mesh, like it, talking about getting into trouble. I I, I want to be tempted to try and grab this lower edge and use the vertex tools to create a uh, trim. But because we didn't clean the, uh, create this that way, this is going to be messy geometry. But we can try it, see what happens. But I don't know if it it'll, it's going to work very well for us. Let's see what happens though. I have a horse. Mm. From the start, we're going to have trouble selecting this edge because. That little shortcut I've been using works with um, quads, and this is not. Your idea, not mine. That's a good drop. That's. Okay, see what happens. Sort of looks, right? Sort of does. What happens here? Um, I guess it's it's maybe better than uh. Than I, I guess as long as you don't zoom in too close. I mean, like, look at how terrible all this geometry oh, oh, is. This oh. is <laughs> this is not really surprising. Um. When you mix tools like that, we shouldn't be too surprised with uh, some of the results we get, but all right. Anyway, something. If we don't look close, we're like, oh, it looks amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it's just scooting by exactly. on the 
you know, Italian dirt bike jumps. And uh, so, fam, civil engineer said it looks like a like a Roman engine or like a Roman warrior helmet, which I totally get. You can see that. Nice. Especially if your head was shaped like a Vespa tire, mm-hmm. an off-road Vespa tire. Mm-hmm. It's like a Centurion helmet. Okay, um, we're closing in on two hours. How are we feeling? My tummy hurts. Oh, do you mean about this model? Oh no, I meant your tummy. <laughs> I just like to. I just look for the opportunity to say the word tummy. Ha ha ha! Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Do you have any anything else that you could do that you think you can do better than Aaron? Oh. <laughs> Do, do you have that one, Matt? Anything you can, Anything do, you can, can do. do better? <laughs> no, not quite. Next week, though. Well, well your singing my... did a pretty good job of <laughs> bringing it in. I'm not going to claim that either, but um, no, I, I don't know. We could, you know, we could we could come in and add some detail to the handlebars and stuff, but I think most of that would be native tools and be. Uh, fairly simple what we'd be doing so we don't have to not to do that yeah I don't know maybe uh, maybe we're close to just uh, saying happy weekend everybody and I think I think this looks pretty awesome. I definitely, uh, as as uh, as was pointed out. Wait, who said it? Somebody said it. Uh, Marconi pointed out. He said he likes the idea that two of different people trying to do the, the same thing in different ways. There's a lot to learn from it. Which, totally agree. Yeah. Agreed. Here's uh, here's a st- I need that mirror tool so I can mirror about the anyway. It's not gonna matter, but uh, I need Tig's mirror tool installed. To make this a little simpler. Why does that look like that's on? Hmm. There we go. Okay. Then let's do, let's do this. Let's see here. Uh, what kind of rainbow color shall we put on this? Um, Yeah, what do you think? Maybe we leave it up to the chat. What uh, what color should our Vespa be today? We got a nice yellow color. That's a nice waspy yellow. Anybody have any other uh, suggestions for color? There's so many. There's literally yeah. over 16 million. I've, I mean, I've, I've seen. I've seen them counted. You've seen them <laughs> counted? <laughs> so you guys might not appreciate this, uh, the you youngsters, but there was a time when buying a video card you were picking a video card based on the, like one of the big selling points was the number of colors that it would support or the monitor. So if you could get a 16 million color monitor, you're like, yes. <laughs> now, if you can get one, it's like, yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Who needs colors when you could mine bitcoins? <laughs> so see, uh, That's we got crazy, one vote though. for one vote for red, one vote for orange. Oh, but Marconi oh, makes he makes a he makes a makes a good point. If you do oh, SketchUp wow. Red, it's a little little nod to our roots. I I can go between red and orange. I could do I could do red. Ooh, ooh, interesting. What was coral. that burnt that was orange? Coral. coral. Yeah, a little burnt orange. Who knows? <laughs> a copper. British racing right, green. Let's, let's let's make this a little <laughs> deeper red. Okay. There we 
we need to come in here. Where's my colors go? There's another rope for red. And one for British, yeah, British Racing Green, as Nick said. So far, hey, Red's, yeah. Red's taking the lead. A commanding lead by 100% more than anybody else, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're not changing at this point, so we're, we're, we're sticking with Red. There we go. We're on Red. Perfect. I will say, uh, last week when we were doing this, I had not watched Luca yet, and I have now watched Luca, and did not realize how much Luca was based on Vespa's back then. I knew there was mm -hmm. some vague reference, but now having watched it, it's basically uh, it's sort of like a Vespa commercial, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> really? I mean, not a whole lot, but it is a. I would say that the Vespa is a character in the. Uh, <laughs> in the show nice it's yeah it's darling it's really cute and as as is the case with any uh, modern pixar movie it did a it did get a tear out of me right there at the end so you know yeah tough not to wouldn't be human without uh a couple tears at pixar's that's right that taillight's the only thing I'm disappointed you didn't get around to fixing today, Jerry Tyson. I, you know what? If you know, if people just wanted to hang out, we could probably spend another half an hour trying to tweak the taillight, trying to, yeah, like update that. Might be more than half an hour. I don't know. But uh, it's the weekend. I don't know. I don't know if people really uh, care to hang out with us that much. Yeah, I know. You, your hair's all messed up, too, so... Oh wait, nobody my can hair? see your hair. Huh. Why didn't Getting you tell me hair. that sooner? Oh, man, perfectly coiffed. Perfectly coiffed as always. Oh, <laughs> dude. Okay, let's see here. We've but got, since we're uh, at two hours, I I feel like one of the little one of the little blonde boys is going to show up in the background and start giggling as they do. <laughs> Oh, maybe not. I guess since they've got cousins in town. Oh yeah, they're they're out playing. Let's see. Do I have? Uh, should we try for a little uh, effects render? Yeah, two a.m. at two a.m. in India. So I mean, what's another half hour when you're? Already going to be sleep deprived tomorrow. <laughs> Arrest me, red. Is that the color for the? Does that count for Vespas too? I feel like you could zip away from any. <laughs> Are there are there some like phenomenal movie chase scenes involving Vespas? <laughs> I actually can think of one, but it's a cartoon. So it feels like you they should remake uh, the Italian job mm -hmm. with Vespas instead of minis. Yeah, we got to go smaller. Yeah. <laughs> uh, God, I can't think of any Vespa chases. Period. I'm looking it up here. Troll There's... Hunters? Oh. <laughs> Roman Holiday? Deadpool 2? What? Oh, is he on a Vespa? I don't, uh, I don't remember. No. I don't remember that. Are they on motorcycles? Wait. Uh, he's, no, it's I'm not interested. A, I don't know if no, it's they, a Vespa. It's definitely a scooter, though. Yeah, like there's a little scene where, isn't it after they've all parachuted down and some of the team's dead and... But like he grabs some oh, little maybe. scooter. What? Spoilers. I've never seen it. Um, uh, okay, so, it's not really so a I got spoiler. a I got a picture of him on a scooter, but I can't tell if it's a Vespa. Mm -hmm. Ooh, uh, there's a there's a thread on modern oh, Vespa. 
dot com uh, talking about scenes in movies and how realistic they are to Vespas. <laughs> he is on a Vespa. Deadpool is in awesome. there. That yeah, is there's cool. a great great shot of him actually just putting down the road with his legs crossed. He's almost sitting sort of side saddle. That's amusing. Nice. Hey, gents, I'm calling this good. All right. Um, good? That's good. Good. Did good. you save? I didn't save. A fantastic save. reflex save. Oh, nice. Save. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> here should we should you know okay hold on one i think aaron had a tag with his other stuff that he put the like the parts in um uh yeah so there is a line on the on the front hood that is yeah or in that little see those things fix those lines what, what are you talking about Let's zoom in on the front of your uh, your front cowl. Oh, here? Yeah. Come on, yeah. I'm fix Those it. are the this screws thing, holding it together. This something. thing is messy. I'm not, I'm not bothered with that. Okay. All right, fine. Um, no. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to. I'm going to drag. You know what we should have done? I should have prepped this better. I need, if I have some sunflower stalks and I just make a couple colors of these and we can just have lying wild vespas again reference to luca <laughs> wild vespas <laughs> wait why did you make a second one what are you doing with the second? are you they are you gonna I was, race i was gonna color them or is that what you're talking about the wild vespas oh, okay yeah oh, okay but i didn't set this I up to color them easily like i actually went in colored stuff Uh, so That's how we learn. I'm not going to do that. But we will pretend that these are sort of just ever slow. Like. Nice. Anyway, delay fishing here. This is just delay. Take us out of here, Matt. Take us out. Whoa. Good work, Tyson. Yay. Awesome. That's great. That, why does that voice, that, that voice sound so condescending to me. <laughs> that's great. That's, that's great. Yahoo! Where and where did my shadows go? Anyway, yeah, anything to say, Matt? Um <laughs> The motor scooter as we know it hit the streets just after World War II. Oh. What? Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love this that. miscellaneous stuff I didn't play throughout the show. I keep trying to get this. Finally, thing. Friday, I'm free again. I got the rolling and running for a wild weekend. <laughs> that's, that's a cover. A <laughs> uh, cover of what? Just covering something. <laughs> Oh, but it is finally Friday, and uh, that we're happy for, of course. Um, that's all I have to say. All right. That's something. It is something to say. So the question okay. is, is anybody going to do anything with special with their weekend? I, don't know. Mm. I already mowed the grass yesterday. I don't do that. I don't know. For those of us in that the often. U.S., what we're doing, just fireworks and hot dogs. Stuff like that. Probably. Yeah, for the most part. Yep. Getting out on a boat. Nice. There it is. There's yep. my final image. Let me um, move some of this stuff out of the way. Move, move, move. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. There it is. That's awesome. <laughs> I'd ride those. Okay. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Uh -huh. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys, for good times. That's fun. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. And uh, if you like the live streams, uh, just another plug again. Wednesday we'll have the fireside chat, and then we'll be back next Friday for another SketchUp Live uh, modeling stream. So, um, yeah, check it out. Awesome. <clears throat> thanks, everybody. Cheers. Beans. See you guys.